With spring break and summer right around the corner, your mind might be on swimming pools, water parks, lakes, or river. But your mind also might be worried because you're caring for someone with epilepsy. My name's Maggie. And my name's Leslie. And today we're going to be talking about how you can properly take someone swimming who may have epilepsy. Swimming in any type of water can be made safe for anyone with epilepsy by taking the proper safety precautions. As a parent or caregiver with someone with epilepsy, you are already aware of the type of seizures, but you might not be aware of how to effectively handle a seizure in the water. Before going swimming, you should check with your doctor to make sure that the seizures are under control. It is also helpful to make sure that the individual is adjusted to any new medications before going swimming because this may cause seizures. First and foremost, it's important to inform the lifeguards in the area that you are swimming with someone with epilepsy and that they may need to assist you if a seizure occurs. Lifeguards can be vital in helping with seizures. They can help you by supporting the individual's head above the water and gently moving to a shallow depth or poolside in order to keep the individual safe. Support in the water is helpful until the seizure stops. If you are near a pool wall, you may need to assist by protecting the person from hitting their head on the side of the pool. If the individual you are working with has grand mal seizures, they might show warning signs before they lose their motor manifestations. It is important to know and understand what these warning signs mean. You may need medical attention to check to make sure that the person has not inhaled water during a seizure, even if the individual feels okay. For a grand mal seizure, it is always important to call 911 if the seizure lasts more than five minutes. It is also important for someone to stay with the individual afterwards and check that their breathing has returned to normal. This can be you, a medical professional, or a lifeguard. Post grand mal seizures, the individual may be confused or even have a headache. It is important to let them take a break or have rest time before returning to the Opposed to grand mal seizures, partial seizures typically won't need emergency action, and you may not even be totally aware that the seizure is going on. But still, if you see anything odd, Care should be taken with the individual involved. Make sure that they don't sink or that their face doesn't go in the water. Guide them out of deeper water or hold their head out of the water and move them away from crowds and splashing until the seizure has completed. Once they have recovered, check with them to see if you can get them out of the water. They still might be disoriented, tired, or confused. Stay with them and make sure that they are okay. Due to currents, tides, and sudden changes in depth, Swimming in a sea, a river, or another open body of water is more risky than swimming in a pool, but it still doesn't have to be avoided completely. If you're swimming with an individual with seizures in one of these open bodies of water, just try to make sure that you keep them in water that is no deeper than their shoulders. So in conclusion, seizures do not have to prevent anyone from experiencing the joys of swimming. Swimming has tons of benefits for people with disabilities, including people with epilepsy, so they shouldn't have to miss out on all the fun. Right. As long as you take the proper precautions like consulting your doctor, informing the lifeguards, watching for warning signs, and effectively moving them to a safe, shallow area, the individual should be fine if a seizure incurs in the water.